Happy show. <laughs> well, hello, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to our first inaugural event of Wearable Wednesdays, and uh, the hashtag is Wearable Wednesday, but it could also be Wearable Wendy. Uh, Wendy Emerson's with us uh, from uh, Rochester, New York. Uh, hi, Wendy. Hey, Tim. How are you? Hi, everybody. Good. Um, everybody's uh, really intrigued as to what our subject is about. So, uh, Wendy, of course, is uh, part of the digital marketing and glass team here at Rochester Optical up in New York. And I'm uh, also part of that team down here in uh, Coastal Carolina. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be talking about each week um, some really cool things that are happening in uh, the wearable space, but also in uh, vision in general. So uh, Wendy's with us uh, as our guest every week, and she'll be uh, elaborating on some news. We'll be talking about some things with you, and also you can chime in here in the chat area, and uh, we'll be monitoring that. This video will also be posted. So these are just some housekeeping things as we move forward. And forgive us in advance since this is episode one. We're hoping to make it awesome, um, but uh, we're likely going to have a few glitches along the way. But no first reels. off, right? No blooper reels. No blooper reels. Okay. Um, we want to talk a little bit about what this event is for. We're not just hanging out to just hang out. Um, we're hoping that this um, event every week will help you. Uh, that you'll find it beneficial, that you'll also give us feedback on ways that we can help you with your digital vision uh, to be better. So when it comes to um, smart glasses and what you're using, um, if you're using Google Glass or Epson or whatever your devices are, um, whatever vision things that you have, like if you're using uh, uh, gunners uh, or some other computer technology if you have those laying around. I have gunners everywhere here. Um, Wendy, of course, is in the uh, playground. She's got everything up I got, there. I have a few things I'm going to show you. Yeah, so we're going to get to that. We're, we're going to, and so every week we're going to have some real good uh, goodies for you, and a lot of that's going to be based on the feedback you give Wendy and I. So you can just ping us here, ping us in the chat. We're going to get back to you on everything. Um, each week also we're going to be uh, off, uh, offering you some um, things that we'd like to get your input on when it comes to design. So there'll be some uh, new things. For example, uh, one of the things we just placed in the my glass area for input on is uh, lens colors for your glass sunglasses. What kind of tint would you like? What kind of lenses? So you can look at that. But we'll, we'll be bringing that up in this forum if you, if you like it. Um, we'll be using that feedback to, to get it from you. And also um, some new things we're working on and also at the finale, um, Wendy came up with this great idea and that is to offer you uh, an, an insane deal, um, absolutely insane deal on um, eyewear. So we're going to save that till the end. I'm excited about so, that. I'm, ex I'm stoked about it, right? Um, <laughs> so that's it. This is episode one, so I'm not going to repeat any of that junk um, next time. So we're just going to jump right into this and have a good time. So, Wendy, uh, let's start off. Uh, first off, we're doing a lot with digital vision, of course. Um, uh, we've been really busy with Glass, and we've been real busy with a number of other um, companies that are doing digital vision in for uh, consumers as well as enterprise, um, not just the hardware but the software and of course the biggest piece for us is the lenses and the designs and making it fashionable and recently we were up at uh, in New York at the International Vision Expo. Now that really went well. Tell us a little bit about how that went. Oh my gosh Tim, it was, uh, it was a crazy experience. It was our first time at Vision Expo East as an exhibitor and um, we went with our gold lenses and our smart frame collection, um, which um, these, these pieces debuted at Vision Expo East, and they are prescription lens, lens and frames that mount on Google Glass. Um, and it was amazing how well this was received because, unbelievably, a lot of people still haven't seen or experienced glass yet, so we were able to bring that to Vision Expo and then add that prescription piece on top of it. It was just huge. It was so well received. Yeah. Uh, tell them a little bit about the crowds. That was uh, kind of a kick for me was when we had um, 
so many people there. I mean, because this, uh, for people who aren't in the actual vision industry, this was my first time there. Right. And um, there were over 20,000 people there. That's and it right. Was a, I mean, that's huge. That's, that's a right. huge crowd. We had, you know, being a first time exhibitor, our booth was, um, we had a 10 by 15 downstairs in the lens area, but then we were also in the I squared zone, which is for all the new technology. And um, we had uh, fully staffed both areas, and we were in just inundated for the three full days of the show, and could not believe the response to the, to our product. Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, crazy. It was. It was insanity. We actually had some of the big brands complain about the traffic to our booth. So you know, and we're the company that's not so famous yet. So that was yeah. kind of fun for us. Well, we're kind of a big deal on the internet. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah, right. We're kind of a big deal. So, uh, yeah, that was pretty crazy. Uh, an international show, people from all over the world, and uh, one of the big things that was such a draw was glass, yes. right? Was, um, we had a glass there. We had some of our uh, medical lubes. We had some other stuff there. We had Vuzix. We were in between Copen and some other guys. And um, people were just, I, I mean, it was like blood in the water. Yes. Right? Yep. I mean, it was, it was crazy. So we, we had uh, put on some display for our glass. We had put on some um, display, some new frames um, that have uh, really cool colors. And tell us what happened with that. We were in the showcase, which when you walk into the Jacob Javits Center, there we are. And right. why was that such a big deal? So that was something that we signed on ahead of time that we wanted to showcase our new product in this new product showcase gallery to demonstrate what it was that we were bringing to the optical market that hadn't been done before. So, you know, we were in with about 25 other exhibitors who had decided to participate in this gallery and, you know, we're competing against Hoya and some of the really, really big brand names that yeah, huge, right? started up. And um, we, let me just show you what I have here in my hot little hands. Um, we took second place out of all of those in the new product showcase Rochester Optical did. So that was a really, really great surprise for us and it really indicated the direction that the optical industry is going with regards to wearable and what eye care providers want to see from a product offering. So we were really thrilled to have that second place in the yeah. showcase gallery. Yeah, second place. I mean, it's not like... Um, I mean, that's a huge deal. We were going up against the titans of, um, you know, the optical industry, and it just shows, like you said, the shift in where uh, eyewear is looking at, right? Right, with this not-so-famous company called Practice for Optical. Yeah. That's now becoming a household it. phrase, by the way. That's right. Or, that's or right. we call it rock. That's right, the rock. That's right. Yeah. So we won second place in the best new product category, and that was really uh, cool. And some of the feedback that we got was uh, really what we wanted to kind of talk about, and it's going to segue into what you're going to show uh, everybody here. Yes. And that, and that is that everyone that came around was looking at, at uh, Glass and Vuzix and all the stuff that we, we, all these companies that we're working with to design things, they all kind of said the same thing. The feedback was always the same. Um, so much so that we got into a, I mean, we knew what they were going to ask before they asked it, right? right? And that was, of course, that the thing that's missing the most in this is? Fashion. Period. Period. Yep. Yep. Yeah, so, it wasn't it wasn't hard. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. Our, um, our GPLCs, the, the metal um, that you see here, we came out for Vision Expo and our first launch with eight shapes, Okay, and eleven colors. That's a pretty substantial offering for an initial product launch. Yeah, it okay. is. And our unique frame, I don't know if you can see this little notch in the corner here, that's the thing that differentiates us as far as our frames go because it doesn't cover up the sensor on the inside of Google Glass. Okay. Can you hold that a little closer to the Yep. So if you see oh, that yeah. little notch in the upper corner there, that's gotcha. a differentiating factor on our frames, totally separate of the lenses. Yeah. Okay, so so we launched these in eight shapes and eleven colors, and which is a lot, lot of, right? It That's is a lot, lot. and it took an extensive period of time to design and test and all these things, these frames. Oh yeah. So now um, the feedback that we got was that even though we had purples and blues and some, you know, some good colors, um, they're pretty masculine shapes. They're not real fashion forward. 
Um, so we have a very talented design staff here. We have a very, very talented crew of engineers who are sort of re-engineering and designing the product. And I have a couple, just to give you a sneak peek of the prototypes that we are um, going to be releasing soon. So I'm just going to give you a quick, and I'm not doing PowerPoint because I want to show you the real deal. Okay, so I'm Bring excited. It. Yeah. Bring it. This so, is Wearable Wednesday. So I don't know if you can see that. That is a prototype of one of our new shapes that we're working on. Okay? That's hot. That's Tell me that's cool. not hot. Okay. How thick is it? Can you turn it to the side? Can you turn it on the side so we can see the thickness? Oh, so it's a chunky. Well, this it feels is a prototype. Really cool. Keep in mind, this yeah. is still a prototype. So I'm just giving you guys, this is like the first time anybody's ever seen these. And That's cool. again, um, our very talented design engineer staff um, has been working very hard. This one is in blue, and I love this color Ooh, and this shape. I do like that color. Yeah, on white glass. Can oh, dude. That? Yep. Yeah, Team, team right. Cotton will eat that right. up. Yeah. We are kind of a big deal. Okay, and I have one more. This yeah. one's my favorite. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Is it red? It's not red. I know. It's not red, believe it or not. Um, it is tortoise shell. And Ooh. that shape is smoking hot. Smoking hot. Dude. It is smoking is hot. That, that, is that translucent a little bit? Say that again. Is it translucent a little bit? It is. It, this is hot. I These want that. are going to be hot. So I, I don't that care now. who has partnered with what giants in the industry. Yeah. <laughs> These new products are yep. going to be, we're going to be the big deal at Vision Expo West. And the minute these go to market, you know, we're going to, you guys are going to be the first to know. So, That's awesome. That's awesome. Let's see if you get where we're going. Yeah. And you know, what's cool is that, that uh, we're, we're trying to use Wearable Wednesday here live on Google Plus where our glass family is um, to uh, be the first to hear any of this stuff, right? That's they're right. not getting these. Right. They're, they're not getting no sneak. I mean, they're getting. They're hearing it first before anybody else. There's no press release. There's nothing that's gone out. Nobody has seen these. So this is you're seeing it for the first time, right the here. Glass family. That's yeah. right. That's because we love them, right? Right. And the, we do. And the feedback yeah. they're giving us is, you know, I love. Um, I love what you guys are doing. I love what all these guys are doing to help glass move along and digital vision, but dang it, they've got to look, can I say dang it? Well, I already did. You already did, did so it doesn't matter. Did. Can't take it back. So okay. um, what they are trying to say, what everyone's telling us is it's, dang it, it's got to look good. Mm -hmm. It's got to look great. And so we've taken that feedback, and before others can even get anything to market, we're already on introducing other lines. That's uh, right into the GPLC family for your glass. So um, keep your comments coming. I also wanted to share real quick with you if you're um, listening. I'm going to share my screen because I want to show you what the, what the post I just dropped in the My Glass area, not during this Hangout, but uh, I want to share that with you. Um, and it is this bad boy. And uh, what you'll see on my screen is uh, the post. And what it is is I just dropped in there um, some tint. So uh, here are some tints that um, I'd like to get your input on. W which ones do you like? Which ones do you not like? So I'd like to get your, your input on that. So uh, check that out. It's on the top list in the, in the um, my glass area. So uh, next up we want to go on to... Um, Let's see. What do we want to talk about? We want to talk I about. Have one other thing I want to talk about before we jump into the next thing. Okay. And, and it was one of the things I didn't touch on about why we were such a big deal at Vision Expo. Um, yeah. Elaborate. It's, it's because of the prescription range that we can fill in our frames, and I think a lot of people didn't understand that. You know, we're fitting a much higher range of prescriptions than most competitors out there that are offering frames for Google Glass. So I think that's an important differentiating factor to note and that our lenses are different because of the compensation for so, Google Glass. So let's just break that down. Just explain that like, okay. I'm, a like I'm a two-year-old. Okay. Um, what you're so, saying is some of the frames you can put only a certain high in a certain level of script in them, right? Right. Correct. And, Based on the frame design. And on the frame design. Okay. Yep. And, and the if it, and, and there's a lot of factors that go into that. 
Sure, but if I need a stronger lens, like my eyes are really bad, yeah. like most of us that are on these computers all day long, um, my eyes are really bad, above a four or five or whatever, um, can, can we accommodate that? Well, absolutely, and it's interesting. We just, um, and I'm going to look off to my right here, but when we were at Vision Expo, we were saying that we could fill, we had successfully filled a plus six to a minus ten, okay, with a, with a six sill, I believe. Yeah. With a four cell, four cell, excuse me, and we have successfully fit a pair that had a minus eleven in it. So we've actually increased the range of prescriptions that we're filling in our um, in our smart frames. So yeah. that's been a big factor for us and folks that have a little bit stronger than a plus four minus four script. And I know I'm speaking optical terms, but if you wear glasses, you know what your script yeah, is. Know. So, yeah. So th that's just a big thing that's worth mentioning and. Um, you know, we had a table of glass explorers next to us who were great, great guys, and um, it was kind of cool to, to explain to even them that this optimized area in the lens here is, it's another, it's a lens within a lens, if you will, okay? Yeah, so, tone, right? Right, so there's another power in this corner of the lens that compensates for your eye looking upward at the heads-up display, and then there's another compensation on this lens because your eyes travel together. So it reduces eye fatigue and eye strain and probably headaches. So I think that's the thing that is the unique factor about our patented lenses. So yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Smart yeah. gold, right? Nice T-shirt. Very nice smart, isn't it? Yeah, smart gold. Yep. Um, so let's get to this uh, offer here. We every week we're going to be doing the same thing again. This is episode one, so um, you know, take uh, today's episode as um, our trial run of the show. We're yep. going to talk about wearables each week and, and new developments um, and give us feedback. We're going to change the show according to the way you like it and what you want to hear. But at the end of every show, which we're going to try to keep to 30 minutes or less, um, Wendy is going to drop something really awesome on you. And so, Wendy, what is it today's Wearable Wednesday Insanity offer? What are you, what are you bringing well, Tim, I'm glad you asked that question. Um, if you act now, well, let's say within the next week, um, for this week, from now until next Wearable Wednesday, um, I have a, um, this one's for the ladies, so sorry to the gentlemen this week. We will have something for you in the coming weeks, but this week it's for the ladies. We are offering a Nicole Miller, so this is a designer frame. It comes in two different colors. Um, it retails for $229. And um, we have partnered with a company that we've done business with in the past to offer it for this next week only for $29 with a single vision plastic lens. So well, that's, and I'll show you a picture here in just a second. But Okay, wait a um, minute. You're saying the, the, the frame with a single vision script for $29? Uh, $29, yes. $29. 29 Nicole Miller, brand name, designer. Let's it's see. Is it, is it, okay, is it absolutely you. hideous? Um, well, you, you I'll is. let you be the judge for yourself here. Let me just yeah. see here. So there it is. Can you see that? It's uh, processing. Let's see it. Oh, that's, yeah. Let, um, can you maximize that a little bit? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm zooming out, so. Yeah, um, hit the command plus button. Let's Let's zoom in on that a little bit. Oh, there you go. That's pretty cool. So um, this is Nicole Miller Modern Girl. Um, it comes in two colors, and it's got that kind of really tech chic temple on it. And yeah, so this frame with a single vision plastic standard plastic lens CR39 is 29 bucks. And um, you can upgrade, you know, your lens options. You could add transitions. You can add AR coating, um, things like that for you know, an additional nominal fee, but uh, that that's the deal. That's the deal for this week. Now, is it, uh, is it shipping and handling like 100 bucks or something? Yeah, no, I mean, it's $9 getting, flat rate in the continent. I'm not getting jacked here. They're, they're, I'm not getting jacked here somewhere. No, that's uh, $9 next day flat rate shipping continental U.S. That That is what it is. We don't make any money on that. That's just to get it out the door. So, oh, yeah. yeah. And wow. once we get the prescription, we can usually turn these around in four days, five days. So, wow. Yeah. If I'm in California or wherever, uh, I can get these in four or five days. 
Yep, for and nine, nine bucks to ship it to you. So yeah, for, um, for you can add transitions, you can add AR coding, you know, again, all for a little bit of an additional fee, but um, for the flat package, single vision lens with the frame, 29 bucks for one week only. That's fantastic. So we'll put, that, we'll put that link up and some pictures of those frames. Yep. And um, now let me ask you, is there uh, is there anything else on that that, we need to know about because I know people are going to ask. Oh well, you're doing this insanity offer every week on Wearable Wednesdays, and um, it, it you know it's some bogus. Um, you've got two of them, and that's it. And then nobody else can get them. Um, that's not the case, is it? No, we have inventory. We do okay. have inventory. I will say that um, it is. We'll run the offer for a week. If we sell hundreds of them and we run out, then we run out. But it is okay. while supplies last. So I, I do need to qualify that. That's good because we just want this episode one to be a reference point moving forward. Yes. And, um, wow, two, that's 200 bucks off. Free pretty shit. Mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's pretty hot. Yep. Okay. Anything else you've got to tell us, um, Wendy, for um, – Digital vision, anything coming up? You, you mentioned about, uh, because I want to keep this to under 30 minutes, um, we, we are going to post the link and all, all that stuff, but yes. you mentioned something about Vision West out in Vegas. Um, I did. Now what, now, what are you doing, what are you talking about out there? Um, well, actually, we just reserved our booth today. Um, so now, our we had a, now, we had a 10 by 15 booth that Colleen put together at, that was... Uh, swarming like a bees. Yep. Um, so are we doing the same size in uh, Vegas? Not quite. Uh, so because of the overwhelming response that we've had and because of the um, foot traffic that was blocking the hallways and things like that, we don't want to upset our neighbors. We don't want to upset the apple cart. So instead of doing a 10 by 15 at Vision Expo West in Las Vegas in September, we are going to be doing a 20 by 45. So it's Ooh. more than more than twice the space. Wow, that would be means great. more than twice the fun too, by the way. So well, it is Vegas. That's right, it's right. Vegas, baby. Yeah, we'll be there. <laughs> Hashtag that. So yeah, it'll be. Right. Uh, you'll see uh, Wendy and I on roller skates and uh, Colleen on uh, roller blades. That's She's right. She moves three times as fast as everyone else. So yeah, more nimble. Um, <laughs> but you'll see us out there live in Vegas um, for that event coming up. And we will have, you know, we'll have inventory of all of these, the plastic, the new um, smart frames that we'll be releasing for Google Glass at Vision Expo West. It's going to be very yeah. exciting. Oh, that's huge. And if you've got questions, because I know a lot of you are saying, well, I want to get those now. How do I get in the beta? How do I do this? How do I do that? You can hit Wendy up, wendy.emerson at rochesteroptical.com. Or and easier to remember, you can email media at rochesteroptical.com, and I'll still get it. So. Yeah, either one. She's uh, she multitask and uh, will answer all your questions offline uh, that we can't answer in the public area. Yep. So, uh, Wendy, thank you very much. Um, we appreciate you taking the time up there. Glad that the sun's out and uh, it's 80 degrees down here in Wilmington. So, of course, it's always sunny and cheery here. And thank you all for uh, dialing in. And we will post this video and we will see all of you next week right here on Wearable Wednesday. Thanks, Tim. See ya. Okay. See you guys.